you're also offering online courses. What's what, what's mm -hmm. happening right now at the at the workshop? Yeah, I mean, we we had to go strictly online uh, for a portion, and then we've now been able to do both. So so we've been able to maintain most of our classes to still be online, but also um, we are now doing in person, which seems to be the majority of people want to do in person. So we have both options. And obviously, if someone gets sick or something like that, now we can, you know, still continue to teach them as long as they have a system at home. But uh, I think the you know, what we were encountering was people didn't have the right system at home or the right applications or were confused on how to set it up because some of them are new or not accustomed to a Mac or a PC or whatever. And you eliminate that by letting them come in and they get the, you know, one on one immediate answers that you don't quite get exactly with uh, Zoom or something like that. I mean, you still get it. It's just not, you know, someone looking over your shoulder and putting headphones on and listening to your cut, for example, for the six week. It's just a little bit of a different uh, um, avenue. But we routinely run hybrid classes. So where it was all online during the pandemic, for obvious reasons, you know, I think, um, you know, just the other week we had like, two in-house in person and three online and you know i think it varies from instructor to instructor the ease with which they can accommodate an in-person student and online students but it's it's certainly possible and i don't think we really had anyone say my experience was dramatically diminished because i was an online student it's the same instructor teaching the same material live so it's not canned um you know or prepackaged instruction it's not a youtube video or something um it's still that experience and they are able to hear the rest of the room and interact with the rest of the room because we, we mic the classroom and the instructor. So they're they they get to be part of the conversation that's happening with the in-person students, whether they're sick or whether they're coming from a place where, you know, excuse me, some of these people just can't, they're, they're not in New York and they want I'm, to take the class. 